Hello, Ice Cap fans. It's Friday, the 5th of October, in front of the Pepsi Center in Cornerbrook, Newfoundland, Labrador. I'm St. John's Ice Cap's broadcaster, Brian Rogers. Well, the Mary Browns Cup got off on an auspicious start for St. John's last night, albeit in a hard-fought exhibition game here in front of three-quarters of a sold-out crowd at the Pepsi Center with the defending Colic Cup champions, the Syracuse Crunch, who were the Norfolk Admirals, posting a 4-1 victory. But I'll tell you, for a preseason game, it had all the intangibles of a playoff game. Both teams didn't give an inch. There was excellent net minding, some big hits, a couple fights, and some beautiful playmaking, in particular by Corey Conager, of course, the defending AHL MVP and leading goal scorer in the league. He's picked up where he left off last year and opened the scoring in the contest before Ben Maxwell equalized for St. John's in a power play late in the first period. The clubs played another raucous second period. There were no goals scored, thanks in part to the net mounting of Dustin Tokarski in goal for Syracuse and Chris Carosi of St. John's. But they were replaced halfway through. Tyler Plant went between the pipes for the ice caps, and it was Rico Helenus who picked up for Syracuse. But the defending champs who have 25 players here in camp for this three-game Mary Browns Cup really took charge in the third period, and they got the go-ahead goal shorthanded from Philip Michael Devos, which stood as the game winner. Richard Panic scored another goal a few minutes later to put it out of sight, out of mind, and then it was Alex Killorn into an empty net with the ice caps in a power play to seal a 4-1 Syracuse victory. They'll play game number two about an hour away toward the Port of Port Peninsula and Stephenville, Newfoundland, Labrador at 7.30 Island Time, 7 in Labrador, and of course 6 o'clock Eastern. That'll be at the Dome. However, there will be lineup changes for both St. John's and for Syracuse. You'll see a lot of players buying in tonight as the Ice Caps try to determine who will play in the finale on Sunday at the Clarenville Event Center, which is back toward the Avalon Peninsula here in Newfoundland and Labrador. So, the defending Calder Cup champion, Norfolk Admirals, now the Syracuse Crunch, have a one-game-to-nothing lead in the Mary Browns Cup over the hosts and John's Ice Caps. At the Pepsi Center in Cornerbrook, Newfoundland, Labrador, I'm St. John's broadcaster, Brian Rogers.